Maxine Waters was asked about her newly discovered financial ties to Russia and she literally runs down the street away from the camera. Maxine Waters decided to show her face in public this week during an anti-Trump protest in LA but she got a little more than she bargained for. While posing for a photo with her, YouTuber Austin with the Fleckers Talks channel asked her a question related to recently available house financial disclosure documents. She held $200,000 in Russia-linked retirement accounts. That's a lie. She yells before running off. Here is what happened. Well, Maxine, it is not a lie. Maxine Waters has repeatedly called for President Trump to be impeached. Waters has done so on a regular basis for his supposed ties to Russia. Kamli finally put that dog to rest yesterday. It seems that Waters does have financial and other ties to Russia. It turns out that Maxine Waters has plenty of her own money invested in Russia. According to Waters' most recently available house financial disclosure documents, she held $200,000 in Russia-linked retirement accounts. But in the immortal words of the late Billy Mays, that's not all. As Heat Street has recently discovered, Waters has some other quiet ties of her own to Russia. She has a close relationship with the pro-Russian, anti-American communist group known as the Workers' World Party. The Workers' World Party is a militant left-wing group that sympathizes with many enemies of the US that would be including North Korea, Iran, and Cuba. It also supports Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and is a fan of Russia's President Vladimir Putin. The Workers' World Party's stances are often carried by Russia's state news organization, Russia Today. Heat Street has identified several instances where Waters had not only worked alongside the Workers' World Party, but had been given an honorary position during their proceedings. From Heat Street Heat Street has identified at least three instances in which Waters directly or indirectly participated in the Workers' World Party's activities. Back in 2004, the Congresswoman participated in a rally organized by the International Action Center an offshoot organization of the Workers' World Party that opposes any use of military force by the United States. The event's leaflet inviting people to attend the rally lists Rep. Waters as the top guest. In 2005, Rep. Waters sent her aide April Lawrence to the party's peace conference where Lawrence addressed the participants on the topic of social justice. More recently, in 2009, the Congresswoman was a speaker at an event organized by the Michigan Coalition for Human Rights, a group whose board of members includes Abayomi Azikai, an organizer for the Workers' World Party. Azikai also chaired the event. That makes Maxine Waters a huge hypocrite. Waters' affiliation to the Workers' World Party should come as no surprise, as her economic values align with the group. In 2009, Waters told the CEO of Shell Oil that she wanted the government to take over and run their companies. Waters told Hoffmister that she wanted to socialize before catching herself. After taking a moment to rethink her statement she stated, basically taking over, and the government running all of your companies. Maxine Waters is a moron. Share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and joining us on Patreon, by clicking on our Patreon link in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out our all new website with much more content than on our YouTube channel. Let the world know your thoughts on this story. I have the truth helped contribute to this report. Thanks for watching and goodbye from all of us here.